I was basically diagnosing myself. Basically diagnosing myself. You mean like everybody else in the trans community? That's literally what gender affirming care means. Was a little bit dramatic and not as informative, but um, this one a bit more informative. I saw a therapist because I was going to get top surgery, thank god I didn't. And I went and saw a, th a therapist once, and I remember this was like about six to eight months uh down the line down the road from my transition. I was starting to really actually pass as a guy, and okay, so within six months, in six months of you deciding I want to change my gender. You are now passing as a guy. Let's, lest we forget the dude who put out that video of like, oh, I can't be a man. Like I transitioned and it's so lonely. Nobody wants to give me a hug. Like, bro, what did you think was going on over here? Lefty Lucy says she may be a woman, but I can smell all the testosterone on her from here. That's how strong her training radar is. Or your, uh, your training radar is. I don't know. Sounds like cope to me. Yo, you were... But you were so sure that that was a male. You were so sure. I was right. Nick says, that's why I like you. You are actually honest. That is not common. I respect that, brother. I respect you as well, and I appreciate you being here. Uh, always, always, always with the support. Uh, Jay said, cutting off organs seems like a major mistake. There is no coming back. Super facts. And I went to see another therapist about getting top surgery, and it only took one one uh, therapy appointment for me to explain that I'm that I was trans and or identified as trans and I wanted to get top surgery. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was told that there is a rigorous, a rigorous process to go through before you can do these things. But maybe maybe I misheard her. Maybe I misheard her. Let's, let, let's make sure. Let's make sure. And I went to see another therapist about getting top surgery, and it only took one, one uh, therapy appointment for me to explain that I'm that I was trans and or identified as trans, and I wanted to get top surgery. Hurrah! They didn't ask me any questions. They didn't like poke or prod or try to be like, "How long have you been transitioning?" Are you that would be a good question. Are you sure this is the right thing for you? Another good question. Nothing, nothing. They sent me a letter or something to my insurance company um, so I could get approved under insurance to go get the surgery. Um, I had even been talking to the doctor's office that does these. Um, everything was approved. Nobody questioned me, nobody did anything. I was basically diagnosing myself Basically diagnosing myself. You mean like everybody else in the trans community? You're, you li that's literally what gender affirming care means is that you diagnose yourself and we affirm you. But that's not a problem because reasons. Well, the, I don't understand this. This is the, uh, I feel like this was, this was the side that was pushing the love yourself for who you are mm -hmm. mentality. And now they're going all the way into change yourself and change the reality around you to be what you want to be. And I, I'm just happy that a lot of people are waking up from this, even though that person probably the person that you're showing probably hasn't fully awoken from this. But they realize that there's future consequences to their actions mm -hmm. and that this could be something later in life that is going to affect them. Yeah. And I mean, just looking at this now, this definitely is a wig. Oh, this yeah, is definitely a wig. Yeah. Um, well, look, you see. So you see their neck? You see that little bump? That little, that's that's yeah, that right there. That's that's the sure surefire sign. Yeah, yours is really pronounced. <laughs> anyway, uh, N169 said years ago, a person had to live as the opposite sex for a year before the doctor would sign off on reassignment surgery. Not anymore. It's not one year. It's one moment consistently throw out my entire transition. I was responsible for my own medical diagnosis, which is exactly what gender affirming care means. You are responsible. You who has mental problems, you who does not have a degree, you who have, don't even need to have read a book about any of this are responsible for telling the doctors what to do uh, with the penalty that they may be, uh, uh, they may lose their license for being transphobic. 
but this is fine, right? This is totally cool. This is so totally not going to lead to half of an entire generation being royally screwed up. I want to pose that isn't top surgery removal of the chest. So uh, isn't this a biological woman too? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought, well, isn't, you could also be adding. Oh, mm -hmm. oh no, it was chest removal. Yeah, this is. I'm pretty did they sure say removal, gonna, or did I'm they just say sure the she said top surgery? I think they just said top surgery. Well, yeah, that usually, um, usually, 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 that means that uh, they're getting a uh, uh, mastectomy. That's usually what it means. I thought it was. I thought I thought it was adding. Because usually they would they would say get a boob job, but when they say top surgery, usually I I don't know for sure, but but that's usually how it's used. Uh, Nick says, poor girl probably would have been pretty if she had not tried to be a boy. I mean, if you had nice eyes, I I'll say that. Uh, Trad God Travel said, WebMD started this. Hot take. Hot take. As soon as everyone started diagnosing themselves and people thought they could be a doctor, damn you, WebMD. Haram! That's a great point. That's a great point. People got and, and and was a joke all over TV and movies and stuff. It's like you gotta get off at WebMD. Oh, I think I got testicular cancer because of that. Yeah, great point. Great point. Jay says uh, it seems funny how people want to self-diagnose and then act all innocent and naive when reality hits. Want to have their cake and eat it too. <laughs> But De Lucy says doctors used to do lobotomies. Maybe they should be brought back. <laughs> I mean, Ugh, I don't know about all of that, but I get, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Uh, trans remorse is the worst type of remorse. I mean, I don't know if it's worse than lobotomy remorse, but you probably wouldn't get lobotomy remorse because you're not capable of remorse after a lobotomy. <laughs> so then, yes, I agree with you. Yeah, M169. Top surgery means breast removal. That's the that's the lingo that that is used. We can check the very beginning again. I mean, we're uh, about halfway through of a two-minute video, three-minute video. Like, it might be a clear later in the video. Let's, let's just see. I, just, I don't trust. I don't have any trust now. Yeah, I, think just, just all dudes. It just I think they're all dudes. I think they're all dudes. But again, at this age, uh, the men that are transform, uh, transforming, trans, uh, transing themselves, they are usually, um, uh, they are uh, typically older. It's it's uh, girls that are younger that are more likely to transition, and and men that are older. Um, what's this person's name? Do you know? Nope. Damn it. Some bitch. Really crazy, and it's something that's unfortunately very very common. I've had relapses on T <laughs> in short periods of time where I've decided to re-identify as a trans man. Okay, so this is clearly clearly somebody who is on the spectrum. That is a female. I mean, listen to listen to the way that they they, they talk. This is and I, this is absolutely not to make fun of anyone. This is just you know my I my ears. I have people who are on the spectrum in my uh, uh, family. Listen to this. Had relapses on T in short periods of time where I've decided to re-identify as a trans man. Well, as a man, as I put it. Um, as you put it, but as science does not. Uh, Jay said, isn't uh, gyno safer than getting surgery? Much uh, uh, much cheaper as well. I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? Is gyno safer than getting surgery? Like, I don't know, but look it up. Elaborate, sir, please. Um... We got uh, Lefty Lucy saying, how can we trust these delusional people? We oh, can't, bro. We can't. The gyno is the surgery. Is I think that's removal of like a... I think that's what you get, like guys get when they have the... That's like what The Rock got when he had... When his like... It's where you have too much test... Like, what? It's, I forget how to describe it. It's like he know. had too much female hormone in his body, so his boobs started to get bigger. So like that's... Like getting like it's where yeah his boobs oh yeah like a gynomastia yeah that what that's what about? that's what he's talking about hey gynomastia. shout out to men's health space aka a different shade of purple just wanted to say hello thank you thank you thank you so 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 much and of course that makes you the new sponsor of the stream and of course every donation comes with a treat 
Good morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, brother. Very, very, very much appreciated. I'll go to the doctor because, you know, I'm thinking I'm gonna, that I'm going to get on testosterone. And they'll be like, you know, they'll be fully affirming of that, not questioning the fact that I've gone back and forth like many times, like not asking, you know, what, well, why are you changing your mind so much? They just like completely affirm it. The only issue I run into is like my primary care physician, she refers me to someone else, but. Shout out again to Men's Help Space. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Well, Go ahead. Do you, do you hear what there's like, no one, no one tried to help me. But here's the thing. You have to help yourself. When I when I have ideas, like when I have when I debate myself on abortion or debate myself on trans ideologies, I go deep into thought. I turn off other like other things and I go, what do I think? What do what in my moral structure do I think is the right thing here? And you have to think you have to think about yourself. You can't have other people like it does help to have other people come in and give their opinion and give their idea if you're stuck on something. But you just can't you can't think that other people are going to save you from this and help you. You have to mentally challenge yourself and debate yourself on these topics to understand your ideas. Well said. Well said. And a trad guy travels just became a member. Welcome to being a disciple. That counts too, baby. That counts too. Morty is so, so happy. Thank you, Trad Guy Travels. Very, very, very much appreciated. Uh, so Jay says, you know Izzy, right? If you crank up that juice to the max, <laughs> gynomasia. Uh, Lefty Lucy says, I'm with Melted Mind Media. They're all dudes. Except for this one and the last one and the one before that. But hey, I, I feel you. I feel you. Uh, Morty Vision, exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right, let's hop back in and see what they are saying. She's still overly affirming. She's not questioning why I'm wanting to go on testosterone and then why- That's not her job. It's not her job to question you. You are the one to diagnose and she is the one to affirm. That's what words mean. Why I'm going off with it and then why I'm going back on it. Like you think that would be something they would be concerned about. I personally believe that exploratory oh style therapy would have helped me to dig down into the roots of why I was so uncomfortable as a girl. And so this is a uh, this is a, a woman as well. This is a woman as well. Later, as a young woman, I also believe that I was failed because I wasn't screened for developmental disabilities. Knowing that I was on the autism spectrum might have helped me to reframe my experience growing up as a weird girl. What happened? Weird girl. Hey, shout out to, who is this? Oh. Melted, uh, uh, Mind Melted Media? Or, or uh, Melted Mind Media with the three months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. On the panel, uh, on the panel and given to the channel. Look at that, yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's give an extra one for the extra months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Very, very, very much appreciated. Dan like that one. Dan like that one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, sir. We always like to you end up in. with cases like me, right? Where someone who needed therapy got this treatment that they didn't need in the first place. Treatment that is irreversible. All of those doctors who have their agenda to get as many people on those pills as possible they don't ever question your motives they just affirm your belief that you're supposed to be the opposite sex that's how you get more and more people detransitioning absolutely absolutely and it, it only it's only going to get worse it's only going to get worse a shout out to Jay for the super sticker. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Morty is loving it. Morty is loving it. He's shaking with excitement. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very, 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 very much. Um, I started I started doing the super stickers and talking shit podcast. And bro, everyone started doing super stickers out of nowhere. It was, it hey, was so I'm with it. I'm about, with uh, it. I am totally with it. So uh, before we move off of um, any of this uh, train stuff, and again, I did just drop uh, Melted Mind Media's link to his channel. Please definitely go check him out. Give him a sub. We just did a collab yesterday, um, and I think it's pretty dope. So I got one more for you guys with uh, Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk in the building. Obviously, this is not Charlie Kirk, but... 
question about uh, puberty blockers specifically because I was on them for a several amount of years. If you don't mind me asking, did you, um, would you agree they're pretty savage pharmacological agents? They've left me with permanent irreversible damage, so yes, yes they yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. Well, God bless you. We need more people to speak out against it. I mean, you take one puberty blocker, for example, which it's an off-label use, Lupron. I was on that. You were on Lupron. Oh my God. Okay, so do you know what Lupron is used for usually? Chemical castration. It's used for prostate cancer. Yes. It's used for... Chemical castration of S offenders. Um, off label for endometriosis and it was used for precocious puberty, which is what I had. Yes. And the, the first one that you mentioned, uh, rapists used to be given Lupron. And the ACLU and left-wing groups came in and said it's inhumane to give people that are rapists Lupron. What would your... It's inhumane to give the arpists Lupron. But if somebody comes in and says, I feel like this or I feel like that, totally fine. They're only 14? No problem. All the, good. The one people you could possibly debate me on, well, I would I probably agree with mostly chemically castrating is the ones that they say it's humane to do to. But people, like right. kids, oh, that's fine. That's completely fine. Terrible, terrible. Would your message be then to the world where they say, but it's the loving thing to give a 13-year-old loop home? It will ruin your life, period, point blank. Period, point blank. infertile. Preach. It is terrible. God bless you. And you have a community here of people that support you and thank you for speaking up. We're and that's a point that also that I, I, I want to address that uh, not just detransitioners, but people who have been sucked into leftist ideology, wokeism, whatever it is, we have to maintain that avenue for people to walk away from that and come into our arms, whether they believe in God or not. To say that, yes, actually, I was wrong, and now I care about family. I care about community. I, fair, I care about tradition. I care about all of these things. And I was wrong. And we need to be a community to support those people. You can be a dick to them if you want, but they're already in power. So probably not a good idea. And it also goes to the point, you cannot push, you can't push these people away. If, if they push you away, that's one thing. But these people that have different ideas from you and you can't, you can't just be like, oh, you have a different idea. Ugh. Like you have to give your thoughts to them in a respectful manner that doesn't make them feel dumb. Like, and you have to, you have to show respect if you want to gain these people to your side. And I know there's people like, oh, I don't want to gain these people to our side, but they're then another, the other side is going to gain them. And then that is going to be one more person against you trying to push you out of your ideology and push you out of your way of life. Well said, sir. Completely agree. Jack got travel said they will read about all of this in the history books and think WTF. No way that ever happened. And if, if they don't yeah. write the history books, if they don't write them, Lefty Lucy spot on saying not when history is brought to you by Pfizer. Exactly. I just did. Well, I don't want to spoil the video, but like, okay, never mind. I, I, <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. Left. No spoilers. No spoilers. Uh, Daniel Cabrera says the biggest question that will be asked in that time. How did they actually have to argue about this? This is going to be bigger. Trying to decide if I want to say that out loud. <laughs> I don't think I do. But okay. what you were saying about uh, 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 you know about uh, them not you and uh, Lefty Lucy saying about them not writing the history and what Tra uh, Travels is talking about, if it is in the history books, because these people aren't going to just die. We're going to have a whole population of these people. So maybe you know in 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 a hundred years. Maybe you can get rid of this little uh, uh, black eye on the the uh, the nation's uh, record, but not before then. Not before then. Imagine if uh, if uh, there was no arguing about this, like or arguing about any of the, like. Let's say when uh, when Moses came down with the Ten Commandments and said uh, and saw them praising a cow, he just dropped the commandments and said, "All right, we're I'm ever see everyone else tailing this cow. We're gonna praise this cow." We would never have this a great moral structure like we have based off the Ten Commandments. And I, as an atheist, I agree. 
this is coming from an atheist that said this. Um, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. They all, I, I mean, not all of them, because a lot of them who are uh, uh, socially transitioning, who are seeing, who are starting to see the type of stuff that we are showing you today. There, this stuff is out there. This stuff is out there. You can't silence everybody. And maybe they're going to die early, but they're not just going to drop dead. Trust me. There is going to be a reckoning about this in the next 20 years. Trust me. Bet your fucking house on that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed that clip, check out the full live stream link in the bio and catch me live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. See you there.